What's good, y'all? Welcome back to another episode. As always, this is going to be another good one. A good episode. All right. It's a lot of good clips in here. So stay tuned and um, make sure you do your own research. Don't just take everything in this video as the truth. All right. So do your own discernment and do your own research. Okay. With all that being said, this is going to be a good one, like I said. And let's get right into it. This tooth has a worm crawling around inside of it. Now, it's obviously not real, but this is actually what people thought caused toothaches back in ancient times. Gargling with donkey's milk was a weird remedy for this fake tooth worm. They'd also try to cast it out with magic spells. Sometimes they'd cover the affected tooth in honey, and if that did didn't work, they would try spitting into a frog's mouth to make it go away. This tooth has a worm crawling around inside of it. Now, it's obviously not real, but this is actually what people thought caused toothaches back in ancient times. Gargling with donkey's milk was a weird remedy for this fake tooth worm. They'd also try to cast it out with magic spells. Sometimes they'd cover the affected tooth in honey. And if that didn't work, they would try spitting into a frog's mouth to make it go away. This tooth has a worm crawling around it. Here we are yet again, almost a month in, and this stuff is not melted yet. I mean, look at this right here, look at this. And y'all gonna say, oh, because, or some of y'all gonna be like, oh, it's got xanthan gum in it, look. What do you think that's doing to your body right there? Y'all seriously think about that, man. My wife and I cut this out about a year ago. We, we both lost like 80, 85 pounds. This stuff, it's no good, man. Y'all just quit eating it, I'm telling you. Want to see what my vegan toddler eats in a day? Starting off for breakfast, I made her some apple cinnamon oatmeal. She's currently obsessed with oatmeal. I usually add in some chia seeds, hemp seeds, and extra fruit. In the morning, I also give her her multivitamin from Llama Naturals. And this day, I needed to restock our sea moss, so I made some more sea moss gel. It's extremely easy to mm. make, and I don't waste any of the sea moss in the blender, so I just make a smoothie right after to get all the extra. I did strawberry banana with some hemp milk. I love making smoothies every day for my family. With that sea moss, I also made some homemade elderberry gummies. I made all type of flavors of sea moss gummies before. With the sea moss and elderberry is great for extra nutrients and immunity. She had a couple of those before lunch. For lunch, I had my hunger root order delivered, so she had a burger and fries from actual veggies. I love that these burgers have all whole food plant-based ingredients. My toddler loves when I make so. black bean burgers, so this was perfect as a quick and easy lunch. She declined having any sauce today, so this was it. Then for another quick snack, she had one of these carrot cake cookies and a little bit of granola. And ending the day with dinner, I made some green pasta. It had a base of zucchini, kale, and peas. And I used chickpea pasta. I love this pasta because the only ingredient is chickpea flour. Oh, this was a great nutrient dense dinner for her. This pasta came out so good and it also had a base of coconut milk so it had good healthy fats. Also throughout the day she has her plant milk from Kiki Milk. Great source of calcium and nutrients. If you enjoyed this video like and share it and follow me for more vegan toddler content. Want to see what my vegan... That's some, those are some good snacks. Good snack eating. I ain't gonna lie. Good snack anyway right there. For real. A lot of women neglect the beauty of dating a struggling man, but that's where the foundation of trust is built. The loyalty, the commitment, because he's not trying to win you over with any money because he doesn't have it. <laughs> he's going to win you over with effort, consistency, and that comes with respect. See, you only value and respect something that you had to work hard to get. He understands the sweat, the long days, the living paycheck to paycheck, the goal setting, working overtime just to take you somewhere nice, etc. That's where 90% of the time the guy with wealth falls short. He has no respect for you. He didn't put in any effort with you. He didn't have to work to build a foundation with you. He simply bought you. To him, you're just another prize on the shelf, something to pull out when he wants to play with it and throw back when he's done. That's what most wealthy men do. They buy things because they can, not because they need it. Hell, sometimes not even because they want it, just because they can. They're more intrigued with the fact that they can buy you instead of actually being intrigued with you. To him, you come at a monetary cost and he can buy a thousand more of you because you come a dime a dozen. You're nothing special. But with the struggling man, your love was bought with authenticity and genuineness that was built on solid ground. And that's the beauty within the struggle. A lot of women- Got a point. I don't know she, I, 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 she kind of talked this facts right there. The reason why you feel like other people are ahead of you is because you have chose the correct route. You were willing to sacrifice security 
for your goals. You are willing to sacrifice starting your own shit instead of selling your soul for the rest of your life for a little bit of security every single month. That's why you feel like other people are ahead of you. They're not ahead of you. They're just faster because they have chosen the safe route. You have chosen a route that is difficult, but way more valuable in the future. And I'm happy that you chose this route. The reason why you follow me in the first place is because you have chosen the same route as me. And you're doing the same thing that I'm doing. And you have the same type of mentality that I have. And you should be blessed with that. Most people don't have that shit. Most people don't think like us. That's why we have a free Discord. All the people are in there. Keep walking that route and you will see how much it's going to pay off. It's beautiful, bro. Even if you're not there yet, I'm not there yet. It's fucking beautiful, regardless. The reason why... That is true. Everybody got their own little path, you know, so... Some people, you know, in the industry, they be selling out to do get where they at, but everybody got their own path, so it just is what it is. So what I've learned as a 56-year-old cancer survivor is this, that food is information that we give our bodies. You see, the nutrients in the foods we eat provides our cells with the necessary information to function properly and repair themselves. So eating a balanced diet that's rich in vitamins, minerals, and other nutrients ensures that our bodies receive the right information to maintain optimal health and well-being. Now, the quality and quantity of the food we consume can have a significant impact on our overall health. So it's important that we make informed choices about what we put in our bodies. Remember, Everything we put in our bodies is either fighting disease or feeding it. All right, go ahead. Get your health on. This orange is not natural. Oranges actually do not exist in nature. They are the product of humans breeding different species of fruit together to create this orange. And the orange is not the only example. If you look at, for example, bananas, ancestral bananas, so the way that nature intended them to be, are really small, full of seeds, and not very sweet. Even if you look at ancestral apples, they're tiny and tart and not sweet at all. The fruit that we eat today that you find at your supermarket are not natural. They are the result of human selective breeding to make these into products that are highly palatable, that are really rich in sugar, that are quite low in fiber, and that are very easy to eat. This orange is not natural. Oranges actually... What you mean it's not natural? Oh no, I gotta do my research on that. I have never seen a watermelon that don't have no seed. In your lifetime. In my lifetime. Every you watermelon too, that I ate, it had seeds. You too. Yeah. Yeah. Every watermelon you ate had seeds. Had seed. So wow. he said watermelon right here, organic ones. <laughs> Let's get it. <laughs> wow. So that's wow, that's amazing. I never I never knew that um that, that was a possibility. I, I didn't think that I thought that even here you do so you guys don't do GMO stuff? No GMO watermelons. Ah, uh, watermelon, no jam. Where are you at? Okay. Yeah. Africa. Mm, mm, mm. Are you sure there is one I'm not just saying that. Not I'm not just saying yes. Wait, what? Look, at, he's really, he's really dumbfounded by, he doesn't, he can't believe <laughs> yeah. that his watermelon, yeah. Are they just here? Huh? Seedless. seedless. Yeah, they're seedless watermelons. Where? Well, <laughs> he said where? I mean, from, from where he came? Every, well, they, they create them. Uh, in the create. United States and uh -huh. Europe, they create them. They create. Yeah, they they make it. Then, yeah, yeah uh -huh. and then they grow it. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, mm -hmm. and it yeah, has no I seeds. Mm -hmm. It's my first time to listen. Really? You never heard that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yo, that's <laughs> yeah. Hey, <laughs> see, <laughs> see, this goes to show you how how we're living out west. This goes to show you just how some things are not even an issue right. for many people just living in other parts of the world. I've never that's seen a watermelon that don't We gotta worry about seals and watermelon. Like come on y'all. If we ain't got no seeds, that's not there's no life in it. It's tough, but that's that's the truth. It goes to show you they just be tampering with our food. That's all they do. All real hoopers the hoop with a ball like this before. That's true. Boy, I see uh -huh. this picture in it. Gonna, it's, it me. took me uh -huh. back. You had to be raised in a certain time period to know what it was like to hoop with balls like this. 
you don't see these kind of pills no more, man. See, back in the late 90s, early 2000s, we was outside, babies, man. We was hooping on that concrete every day, all day and night. So much so that eventually the leather would start peeling off the rock and it'll get to looking like this. And let me tell you something. That didn't stop a thing. As long as that ball had already and it could bounce, we was hooping with it. And the same thing go for the rims. Didn't matter if the net was hanging, if it had a net, if the rim was tilted, backboard was tilted, if that That's thing so was funny. hanging in the air, we was hooping. And don't let it be the dreaded double rim. Oh, you yeah. seen these over. rims? You know it was going to be some long-ass games. But these were the balls and the rims that sharpened our skills and made us better hoopers. The man from the concrete to the ashy peels to the double rim to the tilted rims. It was a time to be alive. Shit, that's probably why my knee's bad now. But y'all let me know in the comments if y'all got any memories like this, man. Mm. All real Definitely. hoopers. Definitely not. But you, you're not a real hooper if you never hoop on a crate. Come on, man. Where, where are the crate hoopers at? You ever hoop on a crate? Oh, man. You, you don't know about that. All right, so what do you feel like is wrong with women in this generation? I feel like they have too many high expectations for these well-raised men in this generation. A lot of females get caught up in oh, this dude has to pay for all my friends, you know, or oh, this dude has to meet all my needs. When all expectations and all realization, these women don't have all their shit put together. And so I feel like these women really need to listen to the men and see what they got going on in their life. Nowadays, they expect for the man to have everything figured out when in all actuality, the man don't have everything figured out. Yeah. The men actually have some problems going on and the women need to listen. All right, so what do you feel like is wrong with women in this generation? I Hello, gentlemen. Did you know you can make the most perfect peanut butter and jelly packed with 31 grams of protein? So first start with a half cup of your favorite frozen berries and put that in the microwave for about 90 seconds. At the same time, get a bowl, mix in two tablespoons of peanut butter powder, one tablespoon of peanut butter, and a half scoop of vanilla protein. Mix with some liquid to get your spread and set that aside. Drain some of that liquid from your melted berries and combine with a tablespoon of chia seeds to make your jelly. Grab two pieces of bread, make indents into both, and put together your sandwich. Throw that on a medium heat pan with a little bit of butter, and that's it. Go enjoy those easy gains. Did you know you can make the most perfect peanut butter and jelly packed with 31? You cannot beat a river into submission. You have to surrender to its current and use its power as your own. Well, I, I control it by surrendering control? It doesn't make any sense. Not everything does. Not everything has to. Your intellect has taken you far in life, but it will take you no further. Surrender, Stephen. Silence your ego, and your power will rise. You cannot beat a river into submission. Sometimes you do gotta silence the ego. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> they are dangerous. Dangerous. It's almost like they accent for it. They just. I'm sorry, man. That was funny. Yep, that's it. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Put that help put that helmet on man. That is crazy. That is dangerous. Like I don't know if he practiced that or not, but dang, he, he did his thing on that because that was that was super dangerous. I wouldn't even try that. Nope, I'm good.
This is so random. <laughs> nah, man. Y'all know I gotta throw some funny clips in there. That is funny. Why is he cheating? She cheating. And she gonna mess up. That's tough. Yo, this is too funny. The way he's just sitting there looking at him, like, and then he got a, the, the bowling ball in his hand. It just makes it 10 times funnier. The more you sleep, <laughs> the closer to death you are. You're supposed to get at least six and a half to seven hours of sleep a day. Mm. Anything over seven hours, which is pushing it, is way too much sleep. Only purpose for sleep, health wise, physical wise is to cleanse the body because you shutting down your body for your body can use that energy and, and, and instead of digesting your food and instead of using it to convert your sugars fructose and glucose into atp or what we call adenosine triphosphate mm. what this energy is used for is to kick on them liver enzymic reactions and them pancreas enzymic reactions to start helping break down the body which is using mm. glutathione glutathione is your heavy detoxification molecules that's produced by the brain and by the liver this is produced in the hours of you sleeping so mm. if you look at a person that's sleeping physical wise is to detox mm -hmm. spiritual wise is to time travel and to see different uh, densities of dimensions and stuff like that of course but mm. we're talking about the physical aspect of mm. sleep is for healing sleep is for detoxing if you don't need healing and don't need detoxification what you going to sleep for the more you sleep the closer to death you are you supposed to get at least that is true the more you sleep the closer you is to death he got a point for Here's a low calorie dessert you may want to try. It's healthy, refreshing, and all it requires is a frozen fruit. I'm going to go with peaches and also a micrograder. Give it a good shave. It really takes only five minutes to make. It takes me actually back to Hawaiian shaved ice memories. That's why I'm drizzling mine with some condensed milk and a sprinkle of mochi. It's a perfect low calorie way to cool off. Here's a low calorie dessert you may want to try. By the age of 20, you should be old enough to realize this. One. Life is 100% better when no one knows anything about you. True. 2. You're at peace with yourself when you mind your own business. 3. You shouldn't take advice from people who are not where you want to be in life. 4. Life doesn't wait for you to be okay. Get up every day and keep pushing through. 5. Never force anyone to choose you. 6. Master your emotions. A calm mind can handle any situation. 7. To avoid disappointment, you need to take people for who they are, not for what you want them to be. 8. Everyone will show you who they are. Just give them time. 9. Ensure you take good care of yourself. If any- By the age of 20- Yeah, that is true. People will show you who they are. When my grandfather was alive, he put me on to eating uh -oh. Frosted Flakes with coffee creamer. So you'll take like French vanilla she or hazelnut or Irish cream flavor coffee creamer and put it in your cereal with the milk that you choose to eat with your cereal. And it's so fat. Yes, it's hella sugar, but it was so good. Um, he did have diabetes, but that's neither here nor there. To make Frosted Flakes at home, we'll combine equal parts all-purpose flour with cornmeal and a little bit of sugar, a few tablespoons. And we're going to spread it on a parchment lined baking sheet as thin as it can go. 
and bake it at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 10 to 15 minutes. And then we're going to carefully break it apart with our hands. The thinner that you pour the batter, the better the flakes are going to be. They taste better when they're thin. Okay. Break it apart into flake sizes and dehydrate it either on the lowest oven setting that you can go or in a dehydrator at 110 degrees Fahrenheit for about eight hours. When they're nice and crispy, hit it with a powdered sugar glaze, let that dry and just serve it with some whole milk or like how I do it with some international delight french vanilla coffee creamer so fast thank me later when my now what my cereal eaters at now well how many y'all gonna make this i would definitely try to make something like this i'm definitely gonna try that i'm not even gonna lie frost and freights oh man frost and flakes be hidden i'm pretty sure them taste good too went to the dentist yesterday he pushed his chair back and he said to me now that is what i call a wonderfully healthy mouth the cleaning went beautifully it was a short visit no issues i have had no cavities in the 10 years i've been on a fruit-based raw vegan diet like nothing has happened poorly because of this way of eating and i eat a fruit-based raw living foods plant-based diet if you think about our intestinal tract or our gut our gut the entire tube uh, from mouth to anus is one long hole one long tube <laughs> one long tube and so the bacteria of the gut are deeply in connection to the bacteria of the mouth. So what you're feeding yourself absolutely affects your mouth health. Eating wow. a fruit-based raw living foods diet is alkaline and that helps the mouth pH, that helps the mouth microbiome. After now being on this lifestyle for 10 years has made such a positive impact on my health. Eating alkaline, water-rich, fiber-rich, whole foods, fruit-based, living foods, in my case, diet, I know has made a huge difference. And so working with my patients, I am always talking about the incredible effects of a plant foods diet, whether raw, cooked, but whole foods does on the body. And that definitely includes the mouth. The truth is hidden in a plain sight. We are one. The truth is definitely hidden in plain sight, man. Fruits. That is like a superfood, for real. Honestly, like, if, if you don't do anything else, eat some fruit, for sure. Eat some fruit. Eat more raw foods. Pay attention. When you cook the food, this destroys the enzymes in the food, which helps your body break down and digest the nutrients. A lot of you are eating cooked food for every single meal. What this is doing is this is backing up your colon and your intestines, which is responsible for digesting the food. So in reality, you're not processing the food. So even if you're eating healthy food, your body's not able to digest it and utilize it like it should. So you're not going to get the health benefits from it. To keep it simple, your body's not utilizing what you're feeding it. You have to give your digestive system a break by eating more raw foods, primarily fruit. When you do this, this allows your body to utilize its energy finally to help rebuild and repair cells versus using all of its energy to break down and digest this food. And most of the food that you're eating is hard to digest in the first place. Somebody comment free game if this helped and if you're going to start eating more raw foods and more fruit. If you so why do so many black women have alopecia and severe hair loss? Be very cautious about the shampoo you use. You never want in your shampoo chemical called sodium laurel sulfate. I got a question. Hold on. How many of y'all use shampoo? Because when I, when I used to use that, that just used to take my hair out. So definitely don't try to use shampoo unless it's like organic, like natural stuff in it. All right. But let me know if that like happened to y'all. And sodium laurel sulfate is what they usually put into shampoo to make it foam. And what's sodium laurel sulfate? It's a chemical that kills the hair follicles. So you don't want that. A great thing that you can do with your hair if you have hair loss and alopecia that will really nourish it and help it is about three times a week just rub batana oil into your scalp and also pull it through your hair and bind your hair up. Combining it with rosemary essential oil can do wonders. And I do that. Try and do it and thank me later. So why do so many black women have alopecia? And most people who are addicted to the most stupid shit, they make the most stupid excuses too. They be saying, yeah, but the reason why I drink so much is because I got to live a little. You got to live a little. You mean you got to live shorter. You want to die yeah. earlier. So you telling me the reason why you drink and the reason why you're an alcoholic is because you want to live. To me, it sounds like you want to die. It doesn't That's sound like you want to live. The person who is healthy, 
The person who goes to the gym, the person who sleeps good, the person who takes care of his mental health, the person who takes care of his physical health. That's the guy to me that sounds like he wants to live longer. It sounds like he gives a fuck about his life. When you drink and you sip every fucking day, you sip lean, you do drugs, you do stupid shit, you let yourself go. It sounds like you want to die. It sounds like you want to live shorter. You hear me? No person on earth can ever convince me that drugs is the right route to take or alcohol is the correct substance to drink. It's fucking bullshit. It's all nonsense, bro. Most people who are addicted to the most stupid shit, they make the most I expressed to y'all before about this evolution retardedness. No one, especially blacks, should not come in a black community with the evolution theory. It's just a theory. What's the theory? Explain it to us. Elvis. Some shit finish, that y'all made up <laughs> to justify the bullshit that y'all show us. There is no monkey. First of all, the ape, the gorilla, the orangutan, whatever y'all want to call that nigga, he only been here 6,000 years. That Neanderthal and all of that shit, save that shit. Because we don't come from none of that. Here we go with the trickology again. <laughs> I expressed to y'all before about this evolution. Did you know that if you blend almond milk, banana, raspberries, Greek yogurt, flax seeds, chia seeds, and honey, you have just made a gut healing smoothie that tastes amazing. Did you know that if you blend almond milk... Your spine is the energetic highway, and I want to show you six ways that you need to move your spine to open up the energy in your body and mind. Number one, bend forward. This allows your spine to open up because your spine gets to bend forward. You can do it standing up. You can do it sitting down. You can even do things like this, bend back. So you can have your spine bend backwards in different ways. The whole goal is to make sure your spine can move backwards. Do what feels good for you. The next one, bend your spine to the side. You can do this in any way that feels good for your body. The next one here is up and down. Vibrating the spine. That opens it up. Next, twisting the spine. Twisting the spine opens up areas for the other. And the last is tapping the spine. If you notice when I'm twisting, I'm tapping here on the back. You can also tap on the spine this way. You can even lay on the ground and you can roll on your spine or you can roll forward and back. All these ways are to open up the energy in your spine so you can increase the energy throughout your body, have that mental clarity and focus and get more things done throughout the day. Your spine. So we went from arguing about my hours at work to who I was working with. Nah, nah man, she started getting real jealous once I got promoted and I had to start working around the queen more. You know, her insecurities came out. I'm like, look, she the queen of my job, but baby, you the queen of this home. Yeah. But nah, she wasn't hearing it. She wasn't hearing it. You know, sometimes certain ones just choose to misunderstand you. You say up, they say down. You say left, they say right. You say honey, uh -huh. they want a guy. Baby. You know, just difficult, just difficult. What you said? <laughs> what's up? What, what's, what's up? up? What's up? Y'all didn't tell me about last week, but all is forgiven. So hey, where the party at? Ain't nobody ever told you don't go places. Never needed an invitation, Thurgood Marshall. No, I go wherever I please. Just be gone. Operation extermination. First thing we need to do. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. You're gonna listen to me, you're gonna look at the light all day. Mm hmm. And as you know, we gotta start with the weakest link. And you know who that is. Yeah, uh huh. That ladybug. You get the ladybug that sets up the trap for the other two to come in. Once they fall into place, we got them like that. It's that simple. So we went from arguing about my hours at <laughs> Why why is Bugs like like that so attracted to the light though? I don't, I, don't, I never understood that. Why is that? Good morning. 
this morning I am talking about the great Oregon mountain time, French time. They have all kind of name for it, but it's from the mint family. Oregon is Auntie Michael Bial. Oregon is anti accident, anti inflammatory, anti cancers, anti allergy. Yes, ladies drink a lot of Oregon. It is good for cysts, fibroid, tumors, cancers. Hmm. Ulcers, internal or external. Illitis, colitis, diverticulitis, rheumatoid arthritis. Aches and pain in the body, swelling. It's good for it. Diarrhea. Mm. Diarrhea. Heart problem, blood problem. Fun Good morning. You never got that real. Oh man, let me really talk about that. But that is so crazy how we have these things on the planet that can heal us like that, All right? And then we can indulge into crappy foods, like, and then we just heal like that. That's crazy. Even when you even eat a crap, your body is still fighting off that stuff to heal you. It's crazy. Well, worms keep the colon clean. You might need to do some colon cleansing because worms will only live in a colon that's not working well. I almost said Dang. dirty colon and you might say, Barbara, all colons are dirty. That's right. The waste is coming out. But when a person is eating a lot of sugar, a lot of wheat, a lot of refined foods and meat, this encourages the growth of worms. But on a vegetarian diet, when the person is eating a plant-based diet and they're evacuating two times a day if they're eating two meals, three times a day if they're eating three meals, can you see there isn't really ground for the worm to live? Now, worms hate garlic. And you know what also worms hate is pumpkin seeds. The worms keep the colon clean. So today I'm going to be batch juicing. Now, batch juicing is great if you're busy and don't have time to juice daily. But first, we got to clean that produce. So we're going to start with baking soda. So we're going to add baking soda to water and let that sit for about five to ten minutes. Then we're going to rinse that off. Then we're going to add more water and add vinegar and let I that sit I for know. about five minutes. Now, organic or not, unless you're growing your own produce, we really don't know where it's been or what's on it. So it's important to thoroughly clean all of your produce. And then we add lime. Now, lime acts as a natural preservative to your juice. Now, you want to store your juices in glass containers and fill all the way to the top and seal tightly to reduce oxidation. Mm -hmm. Now, if you have a masticating juicer, you can store your juices for up to four days in the refrigerator. Now, this is going to give us over 132 ounces of juice. All right, nice. go ahead. <laughs> Why is he doing them like that with these edits? That is too funny, man. I'm sorry, that's, that is funny. Who is... Dang. Oh. No, that was crazy. That one was crazy. Nah, he is doing no filthy with the edits. Sharpen your mind, don't miss Wait, number two. I hear what she said. Top 10 foods that sharpen your mind, don't miss number two. Okay. 10 chia seeds. 9 dark chocolate. Okay. 8 whole wheat. Seven, bananas. Six, cashews. Five, avocado. Four, black beans. Three, almonds. Two, pumpkin seeds. One, spinach. 
Share your top pick in the comments. Top 10 foods that sharpen your Black beans do be hitting. Come on. Stop drinking iced water. It's everywhere from restaurants to hospitals and most homes even in the middle of winter drinking icy drinks causes your blood vessels to constrict interfering with our ability to absorb nutrients we also do not get sufficiently hydrated when the blood vessels constrict we waste tremendous amount of energy regulating our core temperature mm. icy water wears away teeth no wonder when, when you came in from my side you wanted to drink more water Dang, especially when you put ice in it too. So good. Enamel and tiny cracks form in our teeth. Drinking cold water after a meal creates excess mucus in your body. Your stomach is very happy at 98.6 degrees or warmer. After we ingest ice water, the stomach attempts to warm up by drawing heat from the lower body, causing poor circulation and cold below the waist. So if you're suffering from circulation problems, one of the best things you can do is get into the habit of drinking warm or hot water and herbal teas. Consume cold drinks is considered very strange in most countries around the world. While we often receive a glass of ice cold water alongside our meals in the restaurant, in many countries you would get a cup of steaming hot tea instead. Cold water also slows down organ functions and causes muscles to contract. Warm water helps to increase blood circulation, helping to reduce painful contractions of muscles and relieve sore joints. Drinking warm drinks has been shown to help with menstrual cramps as well. Stop drinking I don't know about that, because if it's hot outside, you know, you gonna want some ice water, man. So, I don't know what she talking about. Like, if you don't have to drink ice water, I get it, but if you just came from outside, sun beaming, you know, it's hot outside, you gonna need some ice water, some cold water, for sure. The reason why a lot of us never hit our goals is because you have goals. You need to allow. Yeah, that is true. You got to keep it to one goal, one goal at a time. You know, and just build it up. Yeah, all right. yeah, that's a good, good way to look at it. I like that. I don't have a religion. There's an all-powerful source. You know what I mean? There's a higher power. There's a, there's a higher energy, without a doubt. You know what I mean? Um. I don't think it could be personified. Right. I don't think it could be, you know, simplified. Right. Uh, and I pray to that. You know what I mean? I give my, I give my, I express my gratitude to the all. You know what I'm saying? Like everything, Mother Nature, the, the, the earth, the, the wind, the energy, the, right. it all. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Whatever is that higher power, because this, this shit is all connected. I, I, I used to feel so devastating. I don't have a religion. That's what I used to hear. What was that, 2016? I used to feel so devastating. That's what I used to hear. I ain't gonna lie. 2016 was a good year. But, but you, you walk. walk, though. So don't be talking about my car. You right. walk. Right. At least you got a car. I get it. But you walk, though. So don't be talking. That is a crazy card, but like he said, but you walk though. That is true, you know. Like it's better than nothing, I guess. At the end of the day, it's just a car. I got these two avocados at the exact same time, but one was knocked over by the squirrels. It still had green in its stock, so I decided to leave it in the water. It took an entire year before it put out new leaves. This reminds me, despite having some setbacks, we can still grow. It just might take time. I got yeah. these two avocados at the exact same time. That's the thing about growing your own food. It takes time and you got to be patient and you got to really take care of it. You know, but we'll, you know, you know, the rest. What is protein powder? Yeah. That is a westernized formula that's man-made in a laboratory how can a white substance help me with my proper nutritional value <laughs> you want minerals such as that CMOS you just took that's going to provide you with more minerals than that white substance than anything in gmc mm -hmm. you could go get the biggest protein bag 
it's not going to provide you with 90 to 102 minerals, period. Mm -hmm. CMOS provides you with 90 to 102 minerals what the body is composed of. So it's high in zinc, high in calcium. It enriches the blood, tone the body naturally, lower Dang. blood pressure, get rid of asthma, and bring the body back to its natural essence. What is protein powder? Yeah, that is yeah. a westernized... I've been saying this. I'm definitely going to buy some. I might buy some after this video. For real. I need to get some sea moss. I want to grow a love so bright that even the trees stop and gaze. Meet me under the sun's rays. Look me into a Sunday's. Hold me still like Sundays. And when the darkness seeps in like Mondays, I want to meet you there. To remind you of the magic you've made under moonlight. I want to grow a we're all God. That's what Jesus was talking about. That's, that's what Buddha was talking about. It's, it's recognizing the divinity in you. What I did as a child, I said, I'm going to, instead of waiting for the Messiah to show up, what if everybody picked up their torture stake and behaved and did the things that they had expected the Messiah to do? What if everybody just for one day walked around and behaved as if they were God himself? and did the things that they would expect the Creator. And we know God can't just be a male because no man could produce a child without a female. Mm -hmm. Everything in the universe, as above, so below, like Billy Carson always talks about, everything has an equal and opposite. It has to mate. Mating is a big part of what we do. The boron mates with nitrogen, and that's how the carbon happens. Everything inside of us, all our cells, they're mating. There's a relationship going on in it. Everything's alive. We're all God. That's what Jesus was talking about. That's Y'all, it's get real with yourself day. It's get real with yourself every fucking day. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. I be lying to myself. I be slacking. I be giving myself chance after chance, deadline after deadline. I'm feeling like something got to be a certain way for me to really lock in. But it's just time to be real with myself. It's time to realize I'm not as disciplined as I say I am. And when you start having those conversations with yourself and you start telling yourself what it really is, you start moving into the direction you really want to move in. So I'm just here to tell you, be as real as possible with yourself. You know where you slack. You know where you lack. Talk to yourself about it. Discipline yourself about it. Make yourself feel bad about your bad habits. Every time you catch yourself doing something you're not supposed to, make yourself feel bad. Because I ain't going to lie, y'all. I'm in a point in my life where I'm ready to move forward. And I feel myself going through the same thing over and over and over again. And if you're going through the same thing over and over again, God is trying to teach you the same lesson. That means you ain't learned the first time. Lock in. <coughs> lock tweak out. <laughs> then it's Monday. Lock in. Lock tweak out. It's a new week, new blessings, new money, new every fucking thing. So new habits. Drop your bad habits and pick up the good ones. Come on now. I don't know why this shit just zoomed in, but hey. Hey, y'all see that sweat? I mean, I'm working. You need to be working too. And if you see this, it ain't for no fucking reason. Nothing really comes to you from outside of you. Everything comes to you from within your own consciousness. Everything comes to you from within your own inner feeling about yourself. Not according to what others think and feel about you, but your experiences come to you. Your cursing are your blessing. Your good or your evil comes to you out of your own inner consciousness. And once again, let me make the startling statement. If any person could honestly feel and think that he is deserving and worthy of a million dollars, that million dollars would come to him so fast until it would make his head spin. Nothing really comes to you from outside. This week, where would we? Where would I be? Peace, it goes to show you just live your life, man. Once you go, life still goes on without you. That's crazy, but it's so true. Today is June 2nd, which also means it's the second day of Men's Mental Health Awareness Month. Unfortunately, self unaliving is one of the leading causes of death in men under the age of 50. Many men are taught growing up that hiding their emotions and bottling them up is a better solution than getting help and talking to people around them. But with this comes the feeling of loneliness and the loss of hope. So I say to you, be your brother's keeper. Check on your brothers, your fathers, your nephews, your friends that are men. Please, it's important because a simple conversation 
or even just a smile or a gesture might be enough to keep them here another day, to let them continue living this beautiful life that the Lord has given us. And to my brothers going through things that they do not speak of, it is not weak or sad to go and get help. And there are multiple forms of help. You don't have to go to therapy. You can simply talk to somebody that you trust. For me, basketball is a form of therapy. And finally, I love you, bro. You matter. You belong here on this earth. And a world without you is a world where your family suffers, where people lose light. Because you are a ray of light. We all are. So please, stay on this earth. I love you, bro. Take care. Stay stoic. Peace. It can't, it can't, it can't get rough. I'm not gonna lie, it can't get rough. Real. Shout out to him, man. I'm gonna uh, drop his um, Instagram in the um, description. I'll drop him a follow. That is how Kyrie can do it. He all the moves. All the Oh shit, I, I saw everything. I see you good? You good? Oh shit, I, I saw everything. I see you good? You good? <laughs> now I just had a revelation about this video and it reminded hey, me on why I don't let people again. touch me. By the way, they just jumped the car. No way! They just no jumped the car way. like that. And what we just seen was energy transfer from this man to this man through them just touching each other. And let's not forget, we are electromagnetic beings and electricity can't be transferred. When you shake somebody's hand or let somebody touch you, that energy still gets transferred. Now, some people notice it can literally drain you like an energy vampire or put a spell on you through just merely touching you. I know I'm not the only person that after I let somebody touch me, I shook their hand or something like that. I started to feel weird immediately after. I had to pray and get whatever was on them off of me. Now let's read some science behind it. By engaging in physical touch, we release oxytocin, forge deep connections, reduce stress, and promote emotional regulation, whether it's with a loved one or others. Now let's think about it. You don't want to just be forging a deep connection with no anybody. Because now you connect to somebody who might have stress, anxiety, or depression, or other low vibrational demonic entities. Which is the reason why I really don't let people touch me. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this video in the comments. Like and follow for more wisdom and stay tuned. Follow me. That's crazy how energy can just transfer to someone else, though. That. For me, it's energy, you know? We gotta go somewhere. And um, back to right here. Oh, right shit! Here. I... Right here. This was real, for real. Like, a simple, like, hey, can make somebody day better, you know? So, it don't even take a lot to be nice, and it really don't. That's free. Being nice is free. Now, I just had a revelation. If you are so-called African-American or, or you, you have that melanin, you need to be in the sun at least two hours a day, direct sunlight. I don't recommend you get in the sun when it's high noon day because it still can burn you whether you got melanin or not. So I say as soon as you get up, once you stretch and you drink your juice, your H3O2 or your H2O, what you will call spring water, immediately go outside. Jumpstart your organs, your eternal organs. Uh, for everybody else that call them internal organs, we are eternal people. Drink your water, jumpstart the organs because water is a conductivity or a conduit for electricity. Then go outside and get the electric, to get the electric from the sun, two hours. That will heal your body alone. Next is after that. So we got fire. So we're going to heal through the elements. Next is going to be earth. What I was just talking about, grounding, being in nature. There's something that happened to the psychological process of our brains just by looking at green trees. Literally, it makes you happy. There is something called nature deficiency orders. Look it up. You can Google it right now on your iPad. It's called nature deficiency order where people go through a psychological depression and they don't realize why. And then they go into nature for two hours a day and everything and all those suicidal thoughts that they was going through, they don't have them anymore. Nope. So they were literally, it's called nature deficiency order. Dang. Right? So get in nature. Not only get in nature, eat from nature natural organic things that grow from nature fruits berries melons vegetables limited seeds limited nuts and limited grains these things are very good for the body and it brings on a detoxification so we got fire which is the sun we got earth which is everything that she grows inside of the inside of earth and grounding connecting with earth you can lay on earth these things will actually discharge all the negative protons in the body and bring I me mean, all the positive protons in the body and bring in negative uh, electrons to make your body more ionic for it can be more in a balance of homeostasis if you are shout out to them, man. But that, that is real. 
I don't know if y'all be feeling like that too. Like, you don't be outside in nature for a while. You know, we just feel, feel different. We really do. That's why, that's how you know we're supposed to be out there, like, every day. You know, unless, as long as it's not raining and doing that craziness, we should be outside. Yeah. Gatorade oh, might really. get banned and here's why. Researchers found out that Gatorade has a direct link to cancer. This ban was even on the news because of how bad it is. Gatorade is full of toxic food dyes, including red 40, blue 1, and yellow 5. And these are the most toxic food dyes that exist. No wonder why it's linked to cancer. And for the longest time, Gatorade was made with a chemical called bromine. And bromine is found in pesticide and flame diffuser. And for some reason, it felt like it was okay for us to all drink this shit because it's a way of keeping flavor inside citrus drinks. See, I put this shit in the drink for more flavor. Now they eventually took this out because of complaints and possibly getting sued. But for some reason, they left the cancer causing food dyes in. It. This shit is insane, man. Leave a like if this band won't affect you. Now, if you, you can heal from anything in 90 to 180 days. All you got to do is fast, which is basically cleanse yourself. You allow your body to do what it's naturally made to do, which is heal itself. Because the last time you cut yourself, you didn't have to do anything. Your body nope. showed you it knows how to heal. Your body is not a one-way street. The only reason why your body is acting up is because you're mistreating your body. And whatever disease or illness that you got, that's your body showing you that you've been mistreating it and that you need to start treating your body the way you should treat it. By feeding it the stuff that is made for it that won't harm it. Because if you eat something that makes you sick, it's not your food. If you eat something that gives you the itis, that is not your food. If you eat something that makes you constipated, that is not your food. If you eat something that your body don't recognize and don't know how to process, that is not your food. And your body is letting you know. Because you get your girds, you get your gout, you get your, you get your boils under your armpits, you get your psoriasis, you get your acne. That's your body letting you know, bro, you done put something inside of me that I don't recognize, so I don't know how to process. You can heal from anything in 90 to 180 days. Get your fruits, man. Get your fruits, get your vegetables, all that good stuff. It's okay to indulge a little. Don't overindulge. You know, don't, you know what I'm saying, be eating outside food every day. Every day. Dang. I'm going to be honest with you, fasting is the cure for everything. I really, really, really hope there is no baby in this thing where right Some specimen still shows active sperm that guy's got some pretty good motility he's swimming those are going to still be able to cause a baby 24 hours after exiting the body now does being warm or cold make it better come back tomorrow we're going to show you the effect of when they were kept not at room temperature but in an incubator and you tell me in the comments if you think it's going to be better or worse i'm going to tell you the most craziest diabolical way you can make six figures in 2024 you can make $180,000 just by selling poop if you're not grossed out. And the doctors use it for medicine. There is absolutely no reason why nobody should be broke right now. And you can get paid 15 bands a month just by laying turds. That's crazy. If y'all want more crazy tips on how to get money, hit that link in the bio. Let's get active. I'm finna tell you the most craziest dive. Keep talking crazy. Yeah, yeah, they, they they done sold me one of these bitches off Facebook. Yeah, you know what I be doing in that motherfucking GTA lobby, nigga? You know what the fuck is up, bitch? You see this, this one right here? I got three of them. Yeah, come get, come buy one. Come come join team. They got join this in real life now. And take these niggas out of here. Keep talking crazy. Where my GTA players at, man? Come on, where y'all at? <laughs> this make me want to play GTA, but dang, is this real though? I gotta look into that. I don't know. You get charged in a court because you're a battery, and then sit in a cell, a battery cell. A bank is a river bank because it directs the current sea. Money is water. This is why we say liquidity. Sun and moon, masculine, feminine, fire and water. Money is moony. This is the water aspect, the female. Hence why there's a correlation between the full moon and the new moon and the forex market. The moon attracts the water's tides. This is why the sea levels are higher wherever the moon is. 
is. The moon has an effect on our mood because we are 80% water. Your birth certificate is not you. It's the cooperation that you represent because you choose to identify yourself with the name, which is the cooperation. When you die, you're called a corpse. You are not the name, you are the I, the I am, which is the invisible intelligence, consciousness. You get charged in a court because you're a battery and then sit in a cell. You should not be breathing through your mouth and here's why. Mouth breathing. How many of y'all breathe through your mouth? I don't know how to do that. Everything is proven to make you ugly over time. And it does this by reshaping your entire face. Children that are mouth breathers also develop facial deformities. They develop long, narrow faces. And the, the rest of the face goes out, but also the eyes become droopy. Even the food that you eat can change your entire face. If you mostly eat pasta or food that doesn't require a lot of chewing, your teeth can get disfigured because you're not chewing enough. And it's only gotten worse. Crooked teeth gummy smiles and a receding chin. These days, many children slurp their food. Many adults slurp their food. Many adults are eating like babies. Yeah, it's not a good look. And the more you breathe through your mouth, the more bacteria can grow. But your nose has a built-in air filter, which kills the bacteria trying to enter your body. Your brain is also losing oxygen if you don't breathe through your nose. More oxygen means your brain is gonna work better. It means that you're gonna perform better at the gym. You're gonna feel more energized. That is why when people switch from mouth breathing to regular breathing, they can notice huge benefits. Let me know in the comment section if you're a mouth breather or a nose breather. And if you learn something new. Nose breather right here. I don't know about them. I don't even know how to breathe through my mouth like that. It's uncomfortable. What is this for? Like, what's the point? Knuckles out his car, like, damn, that's messed up. The moon is the reason we don't remember our past lives straight up that's the reason why because as you transcend this realm see you go towards the light in religion and just in life in general they teach you to go towards the light they teach you to go towards the light when you pass away so as you leave in this realm you going towards the moon not knowing that that's not really the right way to go but you going towards the moon so now as you going up towards the moon, the moon snatches your soul or pull your shit in two. And they have extraterrestrials on the moon along with NASA scientists. These niggas are up there on the moon and they capture your soul. They bleach your soul of his memories and they send your shit back down here. The moon is the reason we don't remember our past lives. Straight up, that's the reason why. Because as you transcend this realm, see you go towards the light. But the government afraid, is afraid of you. I'd be afraid of you. Well, there's no need to be afraid of me because I only stand for principles. But, but what you know and the knowledge you share and what you have insights to can be very dangerous to some people. Yes, but my job is to come here and waken people. That's what the Matrix is about, to wake you up from the Matrix, to get you out of the illusions and the lies and the ignorance. So it's not dangerous for me because that's my job. That's what I came here to do. That's why I wrote The Matrix and Terminator to wake people up so they can move on to greater, better things. Yeah, but a lot. But the government afraid is afraid of you. I'd be afraid of you. Well, there's no need to be afraid of me because I only stand for principles. But, you know, but what you know and the knowledge you share and what you have insights to can be very dangerous to some people. Yes. But my job is to come here and waken people. That's what the Matrix is about, to wake you up from the Matrix, to get you out of the illusions and the lies and the ignorance. So it's not dangerous for me because that's my job. That's what I came here to do. That's why I wrote The Matrix and Terminator, to wake people up so they can move on to greater, better things. Yeah, but a lot. But the government afraid, is afraid of you. I'd be afraid. He wrote The Matrix? This lady, this lady right here, wrote the Matrix. Mm. And let me just talk about America. Yeah. We're massively overweight and we're seriously sick and we're ignorant. That right there kills it all. When yeah. you don't know, you don't know what you're supposed to eat or how you're supposed to eat it. You don't know who's handling your food and, don't and what they're doing with your food. Well, you don't know that you're supposed to know. Yeah, true, true, very true. When you start studying and learning that the people that are handling cows, chicken, pigs, fish, 
Yes. They're only trying to make money. Right. They don't really give a crap about you. They're going to make the money that they're supposed to make. The pharmaceutical companies own the medical industry, period. Yep. And let me just talk about America. Yeah. We're massively overweight and we're seriously sick and we're ignorant. That right. So what, what's your favorite conspiracy theory? You know, when that bridge fell in Baltimore, my first thought was, who owns the insurance on that bridge? That was my first thought. I can't find it yet. That's but my very point. first thought was, in every disaster, there's going to be a payout somewhere. I'm interested to see who is going to profit from that bridge collapsing. My new favorite one is Antarctica and the ice wall, though. I really want to know what's is Jurassic Park on the other side of that ice wall, because there's parts of that article you cannot travel to. Like uh, for anyone who think it's a conspiracy, you can, you know, do your Googles or call a government and try and get to certain parts. Very interesting. Very interesting to say the least. But I think most of the ones we grew up on, what Rick just talked about, drug epidemic, CIA, even um, majority of Atlanta got built off of BMF empire. Midtown Buckhead. Majority of Miami got built off of Pablo and that one. Mm -hmm. LA. Rick had a part in building. So it's not that many conspiracy theories left, but that ice wall and what those dinosaurs could be. Oh, baby. Hollow Earth. Mm. So what what's your favorite conspiracy theory? Yeah, I would, I would like to know what's really behind them ice walls too. What if it's nothing though? I was done of that. What if it's just nothing? It's gotta be something though, right? There's no way it's nothing. Would it be like that? I don't know what happened. I find this story so funny. We have another spiritual teacher going around saying that I am really a tiger and not Gaia Earth. This is so crazy. But on a more serious note, you do know we live in a parallel universe. Let me share a story. One day I went inside the supermarket and seen this dude that looked just like me. We had the same first name, last name, birth date. Our moms and dad had the same name. It was mind blowing. I was so shocked about what just happened. I went to the store the next day to talk to him some more. When I went to the store, I couldn't find him. I asked the manager and the manager said, no one with that name has ever worked here. What the yeah. hell is really going on? I forgot to tell you, when I was in the market, I was with my grandma. So my grandma seen this person too, and she couldn't believe it. These parallel worlds really do exist. That's what Deja Vu is about, and that's what they Look, glitch. I honestly, honestly, I think we are definitely living on different timelines and different like realities, for sure, man. Just because you're in this reality right now, doesn't mean it's not another you. And another reality doing something something completely different you know so honestly i think it's like that too it's, it gotta be in the matrix like, where do we go when we dream you know even when like when we dream that's not even a dream you're going to a whole nother reality it's crazy it's about we all exist in different timelines I actually see myself in a different timeline and the universe actually switched things around to make it seem like I never existed in that supermarket. You are never supposed to see your parallel self in this world because if you a glitch in the matrix. But I found it so funny that spiritual teachers are making videos talking about I am Tiger. It's not true at all. And if you was a spiritual teacher, you would know what's really going on in the universe. There is parallel worlds. I find this child star will be the next ruler of the Illuminati. Beyonce and Jay-Z's daughter, Blue Ivy Carter, has had insane conspiracy theories started about her since the day she was born. But here's the number one craziest theory. The craziest conspiracy theory about Blue Ivy is that she is the next ruler of the Illuminati and the world after Beyonce retires and she's this demonic protege of sorts. Of course, there's a conspiracy theory that Beyonce never even birthed her and the whole pregnancy was fake and she just spawned from the underworld. And people were so afraid of her arrival that churches put out signs that said Beyonce had her baby Satan is on Earth. Lots of people think Blue Ivy is such a random name, but can theorize that the name actually stands for Born Living Under Evil Illuminati's Very Youngest because she was the youngest person to ever be inducted into the cult. And then she did what everyone was afraid of, which is showing her allegiance to the Illuminati and flashing the Illuminati symbol, making Beyonce so proud. Look at my little Illuminati baby. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Obviously her mom and her dad are very known for flashing that sign and, and people say they're teaching her to flash other symbols just like her parents. Beyonce is purposely pushing her out to the public in music videos, red carpets, being the youngest Grammy winner ever so she can one day have the most influence in the world and take over Beyonce's spot. And the imagery is definitely there for that. Maybe portraying Blue Ivy being the new ruler and her leading the twins. There's a whole bunch of conspiracy theories about them already that I can get to. Or is it the craziest part? Make sure you follow so you finally know the craziest conspiracy theories about all your favorite celebrities and request who you want to see next. The craziest part is that conspirators claim that her name spelled backwards, Elub Yivai, could translate to the Latin phrase for daughter of Satan. Don't forget to like Ooh. and follow and stay weird. I never looked that up. I don't know about that one. You might be right though. More solar storms are coming. There's rumors of a potential blackout due to increased cosmic activity. NASA warned us of a massive solar storm that's heading our way this year. They don't cover this in the media, but you know, this is you know, they really been talking about like this blackout. I feel like eventually that that's gonna happen. And a lot of people is not prepared for that. That's why those billionaires are building bunkers underground. They're in fear because the magnetosphere of the planet is decreasing. This is why there was a recent showing of the northern lights in the Americas. This cosmic phenomenon typically occurs due to an influx of gamma ray radiation. This is an ionizing particle that does have an effect on all technology and biology. And these are actually multiple solar flares that we will be receiving. I highly recommend staying hydrated. I told you coconut water is very essential for hydration and is basically nature's Gatorade. It's very rich in electrolytes and does charge you on a cellular level. You also need to detox harmful metals out of your body to ensure that you can reap the benefits of the ionizing particles. I also recommend chlorophyll for detoxification. Chlorophyll is the green substance that's found in vegetables like kale, spinach, avocado, green apples, and things of that nature. It removes metals like lead, cadmium, and mercury out of the body, making it easier to retrieve photon energy. Shilajit is another product I highly recommend for the upcoming cosmic activity. Shilajit is age reversing, literally reduces wrinkles, graying of the hair follicle. It's great for increasing your testosterone as well as building muscle. I do have authentic Himalayan Shilajit available. How many of y'all use these herbs? With shilajit and stuff like that. CMOS. Let me know. And how was your experience using it? On holistic remedies for ascension, link in bio. Remember, the last place these deletes want you is in nature. Every eight minutes and 30 seconds that you're underneath the sun, you receive cosmic downloads. It's just one of the main reasons they keep us distracted so we don't have time to sit with ourselves and sit in nature to become the best versions of ourselves. More solar. So check this out. A YouTuber just found the Kraken in Alaska. What? The footage at the end is the scariest thing I've ever seen, fam. Luke Nichols, a popular YouTuber. this. Check this out, y'all. This is crazy. Look at what this truck driver recorded in Florida Whoa. at 5.30 in wait, the morning, y'all. Wait, 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 wait a minute now. How does it look like it's morning time and nighttime at the same time? That is crazy. It's like a opening of like the morning time. 5 30 a.m why would you see anything else but a dark sky look at this y'all why does it look like there's a sun coming through look at 5 30 in the morning oh my goodness what is that y'all it's not the moon because the moon was not out that night y'all there's something going on in the skies y'all there is literally something going on in the skies because why would you see anything but dark skies at night, especially at 530 in the morning? It's not the sun because wouldn't the sun have to rise up? What the heck? And have you noticed lately the sky has not been dark? Have y'all noticed that? The sky is not dark at night anymore. It's like a it's like a white color. It's a it's a light color, a light white color. Y'all have y'all noticed that it's been so bright at night. So many weird things happening in this world, y'all. Like, I'm, I'm confused. It's like the sky used to be dark, and now it's not dark anymore. It's like a light. Like, it's there's there's light outside at nighttime, y'all. There's light outside at nighttime, and it's affecting people's sleeping schedules and all that. People say they're not sleeping and all that type of stuff. But let us know if you have any idea what that is, y'all. This was at Florida, again, at 5.30 a.m. That's crazy, man. This video is strictly for entertainment cool. purposes only. I am only raising awareness to interesting situations during these interesting times. Like they have a thing called zero. They 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 go from one to zero to right. negative one. 
there is no zero to even think zero. So do you think that zero is a concept that came along with currency? It should be attached to currency in that regard because in physics, there is, it's either nothing remains still. There's nothing still in the universe. There's nothing that doesn't have motion because everything is connected. So if one thing is still, everything that's connected to it has to be still. There can never be one thing still. So as electricity tries to get to its, its balanced state, right when it gets there, magnetism takes over and it pushes over. So there's this pendulum. And as soon as it gets to this state, it bounces off that other noble gas and it makes its way all the way back over here and it's about to have equanimity. And then it gets pulled back into the other direction. And that's the breathing in and breathing out and the pendulum effect that we've all observed in natural phenomena. This is how designer clothes be scamming people. How much do you think these cost? Or what about these? If you guess anything under $1,000, you're wrong. Just because it's Balenciaga, this shoe is $1,800. And this shoe is $1,650. Am I the Excuse only one me? that's confused? It looks like they- I'm very confused. Like, we paying for dirty shoes now? What? Who's buying that? hire somebody to go in the dumpster and find some shoes but people are still wearing it because it says balenciaga and we got to talk about the balenciaga chips it's actually an empty bag that you can purchase that resembles chips they even partner with lays which is typically like a five dollar bag right but this one is one thousand eight hundred dollars just because it says balenciaga leave a like if you feel like they're doing too much this is literally an empty bag and that's how they're able to sell balenciagas that look just like sketchers now i'm only showing you this because i want you to see how this shit actually works comparing yourself to people on social media can be detrimental if you can't afford these beat up pair of balenciaga bras okay ain't nothing wrong with your air force ones or throw on some jordans and these look 10 times better but let me know what you think about these shoes in the comment section would you wear them that's crazy just because it got a word on it who do they think they are like for real who this look at what this lady word. caught in brisbane australia y'all look at this look at this huge halo over her head y'all and you think that's the sun but no there's a sun right there with its own halo over its head right and the rainbow around it but what is this what is that y'all oh my goodness look at this I'm losing my mind. Can we look at this huge circle in the sky and then look at our sun with the rainbow? And there's a mini little sun. So, circle around that. Um, there's another mini sun right there. Y'all look. Hold on. It's wild. And then there's a huge circle. <sighs> I am in awe. Bro, now it's kind of hard to see in the video, but there's another mini sun right there. Look, here's a mini sun, here's another sun, and then this big black planet in the background. You know what they've been hiding from us, Nibiru, Planet X, whatever you want to call it. But this thing right here, this huge spherical thing, reminds me of three-body problem, y'all. Check this out. Watch this. All right, check this out, y'all. Look, this is the same thing that they showed us in three. Y'all see that? Look at this thing opens up and show you that the sky is literally a simulation that we are literally in a giant video game y'all look at this we've been telling y'all man our life is a movie literally and a lot of things that you see in the movie are about to come to fruition that's why they put it in these movies they're putting it in our face let me know what you guys think about this video this video is strictly for entertainment purposes only i am only raising awareness to enter situations in 2019, this mysterious man wearing a TV on his head dropped off old TVs on random porches in Henrico County. On a seemingly ordinary Sunday night in November 2019, he went around Henrico County dropping off old TVs on 50 what different is porches. He doing? Wearing a TV on his head, What's he gave no reason or explanation for his actions. People were really confused, as nobody knew why TV man did these strange things or what he was trying to achieve. When homeowners woke up and found old TVs on their porches, they called the police. The officers were confused about how to handle the situation, so they went around collecting all the old TVs. But this wasn't the first time TV Man had done something like this. Exactly one year earlier, in 2018, he left 20 old TVs on porches in another part of Henrico County. The fact that TV Man has a history of these actions adds to the mystery and raises more questions about his motives. Why does he do this? What is he trying to tell us? Do you have any idea what the mysterious TV Man is trying to convey? The community remains baffled by his strange and unexplained behavior. In 2019, this I don't get it. It is being reported that over the last 24 hours, there have been 250 earthquakes up to a magnitude of 4.1 that have erupted in Hawaii around its volcano national park. This is happening today, June 3rd, just three days before Ryan predicted a massive earthquake.
to hit Los Angeles. Nevertheless, the volcano threat level has been raised and now they are on watch. These earthquakes have been happening over the last 24 hours and they have had- I mean, the, the weather has been strange, so Ryan might be on to something. You gotta wait and see though. Is it, what is it, the six? He says something. These type of tremors that are back to back and the earthquakes are ranging from 4.1 all the way to 2.1 and below. So this is the location where these earthquakes have been happening back to back to back for the last 24 hours. And if you look there, that is the Hawaii Volcano National Park. And if you look there, there is also a volcano in this direction. But if you can see here, these are some of the points of the 250 earthquakes that have been happening. I don't know if you have two volcanoes in a state park next to each other and there are earthquakes, I'm just gonna let you think about the rest. Here are some of the earthquakes and what they ranked on the scale from all the way to 3.1 to 4.0. As you can see, these are all happening between last night and today. If you look at the sizes of those earthquakes, you see that they have increased. They go from 3.2, 3.1, 3.3, up to a 4.1. 4.1 is just below a 5.0, which is very significant in the scale of earthquakes, especially around the volcano. They are also saying that some of these events have also occurred beneath the Upper East Rift Zone, which especially over the past two hours. There have been 12 events between M3 and M4 and 145 events between M2 and 5.8. 58 mm. events between M1 and M2 and numerous events less than M1. Beneath the surface, however, several events have been located slightly shallower at about 1.5 kilometers or one mile beneath the surface. These earthquakes have been widely felt in Hawaii Volcanoes now National Park and surrounding communities. They have even triggered many rock falls. Earthquake activity has been accompanied by elevated rates and changing patterns of ground deformation. The volcano alert level Aviation color code is to remain at watch orange, but conditions could change quickly. HVO continues to closely monitor Kilayu. I don't want, I don't know if I'm saying it right, which is the volcano there for signs of increasing activity. Now that I showed you what's going on, do you guys remember what, you know, that man said about June 6th, three days away? And what he's been saying is going to happen in LA, California. Baby, if a large enough earthquake is felt in Hawaii, it's gonna be felt in California. You guys remember mm. February when they were both bouncing back and back with these crazy ass earthquakes? Hawaii and California share almost the same body of water on that side. And they're only 2,471 miles apart. So if something happens here and causes a you know what, or a tsunami or anything of that nature, you don't think you would feel it over there in California? I ain't saying he's right. I ain't saying it's true. But what I am saying is, wake up this report is fairly new so please feel free to check your local news network and anchor to see the most current reporting on this as the story develops thank you mm. what do y'all think y'all think he you want to something is he right could be you could not you just have to wait and see the squiggly lines in the air people may refer to them as floaters you ever see those squiggly lines in the air? People may refer to them as floaters. Well, I'm gonna tell you exactly what these things really are. Now, typically, mines uh, come in different shapes. They almost look like fractal patterns. Now, they tell you it's an eye condition, but that's false, okay? Just like when they made up the, the so-called demon face syndrome, right? This is all false. Now, we are all aware that we are living in some type of light code simulation. And we only actually see uh, less than 1% of the light photon spectrum. Now, the ones and zeros that make up this matrix are referred to as what's called indinker code. When computers transmit information, typically this information is submitted through what they call binary or ones and zeros. Here's another visual perspective of indinker symbols. When we see these floaters, basically what we're seeing is fragments of the matrix glitching. Basically, we're seeing the binary code or indinker symbols that string together this matrix. Since we only have access to less than 1% of the light photon spectrum, once in a while, we actually may get a little more. And sometimes we start to see a little bit through the matrix. So it may appear as indinker symbols or binary, which is these little fractal patterns that we may get in our, our visual spectrum. A quantum physicist that studies supersymmetry by the name of Professor James Gates conducted a study in which he discovered that the same binary code that is used in computer transmissions actually makes up the fabric of our reality. This is why a motherboard in a city looks so identical. You can't tell me whether this is a motherboard or a city, I bet. 
but when the matrix is glitching, sometimes you may see portions of what's running it. You ever see those? Please don't forget that Ryan Garcia made a bold prediction. He said that there will be a major earthquake on June 6th that changed everything on this planet. Today is June 4th, so we have two days left to see if this man tweets is really true. It's so many bad things that can happen if we have a major earthquake. We can lose our lights, our water, no food, no transportation, but that's only if his tweets is correct. I don't want to make this some kind of fair migrant video, but if you've been paying attention to the world, you have noticed that there has been over 200 earthquakes in 48 hours. So right now it kind of seemed like he was telling the truth. I know this planet have earthquakes all the time. This is nothing new, but the way we are having them back to back all across the world, it seems like something's not right. But let's travel down the rabbit hole with this whole conspiracy thing with these earthquakes. How do he know there will be a major earthquake on June 6th? Who right. told him this? This is not just some random shit you just make up and say, June 6th, the world's going to end. There's going to be a major earthquake. Someone had to tell him. I mm -hmm. find it real strange that he picked this date. June is the sixth month. On the sixth day, the year 24, another six, that's 666. Just a coincidence? Please don't forget that Ryan Garcia made a bold prediction. Dang. He, he said, what point on that one right there too? You got the two with the four that is six. Another six. Hey. Who knows? That's why you need to be careful what music you listen to. Because if music can get rid of a demon, it can attract one. And most of the music out here now attracts demons. Then you wonder why your lifestyle, you grooving and bumping in the car. But when you get out, you can't wait to figure out why your life is standing still. Sometimes it's the music that you're listening to because whoever you listen to was on them attaches itself to you. Rick Joyner said he was in a vision. The Lord told him, he said in the last days, he said the enemy will bring up singers and, and other musicians. He said, and they will baptize millions of people into the demonic in one moment. Whoever you accept, hmm, you get what's on them. I reject a whole lot of stuff. So I reject stuff in the world. Unfortunately, I reject a lot of stuff in what we call church. You know, not all gospel music is gospel. Wake up. All right, y'all. That's going to do it for today's video. Hope you guys took something from it, got something from it. And we do have a lot more clips. There is going to be another good episode tomorrow. So stay tuned. And, uh, Say that peace, abundance, prosperity, and good health your way. You know, just make sure you take care of yourself today and every day. All right. But until next time, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.